Hello, everybody. This is D from D's Delicious Bites, and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Back. Back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. So everybody, let's go check out my video. If you wanna get it right, come join Delicious Bites. Check it. Check it. Video. Check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so much for coming on back. Father God, I thank you for this beautiful blessed day. I thank you for this meal that you have put before me. Lord, I thank you for another Christmas. I thank you for your son. I thank you, Father God, for my friends, family, and subscribers, and I thank you for keeping us all safe. Lord Jesus, bless this meal. Make it nourishing to my body and my body to your service. In Jesus' name, I thank and praise you for everything, every single day. Amen. So, you guys, I am back with another mukbang, and today it is a finger-licking, crab-cracking good time. Yes, it is. Lip-smacking, crab-cracking, finger-licking good time. <laughs> I know I said that in another video, and I didn't actually do the video. Here's the video. Mouth is watering. Got my crab legs. You can see my brown butter, and it's brown. It look burnt. It's not. It's good to me. And then I have my water and some lemons. So let's get at it while they're hot. How is everybody doing today? I hope you are doing well. Blessed and highly favored. Move my bag over. When I get a good piece, I give y'all a bite. Y'all don't want these little skimpy pieces. Mm-hmm. So, you guys, I tried the Jonas Crab. And I tell you what, I won't try it again. I didn't like it. It had no flavor whatsoever. It was actually quite dirty. Like I had to really scrub it when I was cleaning it. And I just, I wasn't, I wasn't here for it. But, I'd never had it before and I wanted to try it. If you don't try things, you just never know if they're good or not. So, I tried it. I didn't like it. Squeeze some of this lemon on here. Mm hmm. That is what I'm talking about. Y'all know how I feel about my crab legs. I'm trying to move this so I don't spill it, but it needs to come down. I have a bag over here if y'all can't see it where I'm putting all of my all of my um shells And I have mm, 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 a towel down here in case I spill anything. I don't need juices all over my table. So I have a ton of napkins. I got my package today from my Sis K's confection. 
and I will do an unboxing on that tomorrow along with some more Christmas cards that just came today which I will be reading those tomorrow as well and my daughter who was just here she she Sheena informed me that she's not taking her Christmas stuff down mm. until January 6th. So I'm not going to take mine down. I, I just took my cocoa bar apart, you guys. Clearly, as you can see, my trees are still up. Or at least this one you can see. But the other ones are still up as well. Now the bedroom one is going to come down. But the living room one and my mom's I'm going to leave up for a little while. These cook a little longer than they should have. Because Sheena stopped by and that kind of distracted the plan. So they're not cracking as well as they should when you cook them for more than four minutes they don't crack right that's okay we still gonna make it work they still taste good and I'm gonna still get this meat out of here You know they're good when you can just eat them without even putting them in the butter or the lemon. That's when you know they're real good. Snow crab just has the sweetest flavor. But anyway, y'all. Um, Sheena stopped by. because I guess she had been calling and texting and I haven't responded. That was not on purpose. Mm, mm, mm. It was because I had my phone on do not disturb and forgot that it was on there, so none of the calls or texts were coming through. I didn't see them. And so, she and her sister rushed over here on two wheels, y'all, because today, which will be yesterday when you get this video, is the 28th. So, of course, it's been three days since Christmas, and they haven't heard from me. So they're freaking out. And they came over, both of them, and were not pleased when they saw me standing in the kitchen cooking my crab leg. I mean, I got read the riot act. They were like, what are you doing? And I'm all like, what do you mean, what am I doing? What? Why are you here? What are you doing? They're like, dude. Because when they're mad at me, I'm dude. <laughs> we've been calling you and we've been texting you for three days with no response. Like, what are you doing? And I said, I don't have any calls or missed messages or text messages or anything like that from you. I just been over here chilling, minding my own business, relaxing. And I said, go look at my phone. So my oldest daughter went and got my phone and looked at it. She said, the reason you haven't gotten anything is because it's on do not disturb. We've been blowing your phone up 
and you've not been answering and we're over here terrified thinking you laying in here gone I'm like I am they were crying they were shaking they were crying they were upset with me and I said I'm sorry I didn't realize it was still on do not disturb I just I didn't realize it was still on there so all's well that ends well I'm fine they're a little bit uh worse for wear because both of them were shaking and crying and very upset glad I'm still alive but mad at me for like MIA for three days like it wasn't intentional I just I was over here minding my business relaxing doing what I do I felt like y'all was over there minding y'all's business too because I thought today I'm like I haven't heard from the girls I should probably call or text and see what they up to and I was like no nah, they probably they're fine they over there just doing you know relaxing just like me and so I didn't call them I guess I should have because they have been calling me and not been able to get through mm. my nose is running y'all excuse me mm -mm -mm. so yeah that was crazy and scary for them. So that's what's going on over here today. At least I know, which, you know, I've known. It's not like it was something I didn't know. But at least I know my girls run over here and check on me. They don't hear from me, they coming. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then, Sheena was stalking me so bad but she was like, and I looked on your, on your YouTube, and you didn't answer any of your um, messages today. You didn't answer any of the people, and you don't ever miss that. You answer them every day, and I looked on there today, and you hadn't answered them yet. I said, no. Oh, I got some crap, y'all. I'm going to drop down. I got to get it. I said, no, I haven't answered them yet. I said, but I'm, I'm going to. I usually do that before I go to bed. And she said, so then I thought, that's just not, that's unusual. So, I mean, she was on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> I got to get that crap. All right. I'm trying to keep track of the time so I can get to the good word because y'all know when I get busy eating crab, I forget everything else I'm supposed to be doing. So, anyway. That was the excitement for the day. Not good excitement either. <laughs> my little one, which I call her my little one because she's the youngest, but she's 31 years old, y'all. 31. She said, I need a shot. I need, I need something to drink. <laughs> she said, I have nerves bad. She got her a, a shot of pineapple rum and some orange juice. And she don't even like pineapple rum. 
while she drank it. Mm -mm. So, they both made me promise when I'm done with this video to text or call. So, I will definitely be doing that and taking a shower. <laughs> All this crab juice popping everywhere because we don't need a repeat I don't need to be stressing them out they don't need to be stressed out mm. 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 Mm -mm. I'll finish this off. Y'all know I'll leave the claws for last. I'll eat those um, in another video because they will end up being put in something else. Either some mm, mac and cheese or something like that. We're going to get into this good work here in just a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Let's put some lemon on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't say nothing now. I'm sorry about all the smacking. But that's the way you got to get it. If you ever want me to do a video with less talking, more eating, seafood. <laughs> That's when there's less talking and more eating. This is the last delicious bite. Get the 
go. Mm. Put my hands up, y'all. Move that out the way. Give me one second, and we'll get into this good work. Okay, family. The good word comes to you today from John chapter 14, verse 13, and it is entitled, In His Name. And it reads as follows. I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Use my name, Jesus told his disciples. This is not an offer we extend to just anyone. When we tell someone to use our name, we are giving them permission to receive the special treatment usually reserved for us. We are in a sense allowing them to take our place and benefit from it. Jesus still makes this offer today to all who love him and seek to do his will. It is a letter of unlimited credit. It promises that whenever we ask in his name, we will be answered. It's extraordinary, isn't it? To be given such favor is a sign of the intimacy we share with him.